today. I have a lot of stuff to cover today, so I'm going to go ahead and hop right into it. I'm going to let you guys in on some secrets, and I'm going to try to debunk some of the myths that are out there about traffic enforcement. Before I begin, let me go ahead and reiterate, as I try to do in every video, that your state might be different. I'm not a lawyer, nor do I want to be one. Don't go out there after watching this video thinking you're Ricky Bobby and getting your ass pulled over. Let's get to the good shit. Secret number one, not every cop you see on the road can legally run radar or LIDAR, which is laser. I know it's a shock that not every cop out there is a traffic dick. Radar and LIDAR are usually two classes that are considered advanced training that are taken after the academy. I know people that have been cops for like three to five years and they have never taken a speed detection class. Some academies are starting to include it as a part of their like basic mandate course, but it's usually radar, it's not usually laser. A lot of cops want nothing to do with speed detection, they never bother going to the class and they just, they don't run radar. Secret number two, a cop doesn't need radar or laser to stop you for speeding. Some states have a law called too fast for conditions and that means a cop can stop you uh, if there's like inclement weather or it's high traffic and it's obvious that you are hauling ass. This can also apply to school zones and construction zones. If it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon and your ass comes hauling ass at 60 miles an hour like Mario Andretti through a school zone, you're going to get stopped. This isn't Grand Theft Auto there, dick. An officer can also stop you for speeding if they pace your speed from behind you. But I have yet to meet one person that didn't know there was a cop behind them. Every one of you watching knows exactly when a cop is behind you. What's funny is that I've been doing this for so long, I can tell exactly the moment when somebody sees me behind them. As soon as I start getting close to them, they start veering off to the right and they hit the line because they're too busy looking in their rearview mirror. I laugh every time. Secret number three. I can beat your $300 radar detector, so save your money and go buy yourself a hat or something. I'm not saying that every officer knows this trick, but I guess the ones that are watching this will learn. Most patrol cars have two antennas in them, and antennas are basically set up in the windshield or in the back window, and they're used to measure people's speed. Basically the way it works is whenever you turn the antenna on, it sends out a frequency. Once that frequency comes back, it has changed. The machine then translates that change and it gives you a speed reading. For all you science nerds, that's called the Doppler effect. Now keep in mind the officer can control which antenna is on or he can turn both of them off. They're not constantly on all the time. New officers will usually sit there with their antenna on and depending on how high the pitch is determines usually what, what speed somebody's going. So if they have like an average like range of tones that they hear and then all of a sudden they hear a real high one, that's usually gonna be your fast one. The bad part about that for us though is that people miles down the road can pick up that signal with their radar detectors, which gives them a heads up, hey dumbass, you might want to slow down. Those of us that have been doing traffic enforcement for a while or we had prior experience or whatever, once you start doing it long enough, you can start seeing how fast cars are going before they approach you. So the way I get around this, I wait to turn on my antenna until I visually see somebody speeding and then by then it's too late. I've already got you locked in. By the time you hit your brakes, I've already had you locked in for two to three seconds. I remember stopping this guy in a Mustang. This dude was going like 20 miles over the limit. So I walk up to the window and I see he has this really nice radar detector in his windshield. So of course, me being me, I had to ask him, sir, how is that working out for you? He looked me square in the face and he was like, sir, this thing was $300 worth of bullshit. That's how it's working out. Secret number four. In some states, officers are required to perform what's called an accuracy check on their radar device. That means they have to check it for accuracy at the beginning and the end of their shift. The way this is done is usually using two metal tuning forks. As long as the device displays the speed that's on the tuning fork, it's considered a pass. Secret number five. Most cops won't stop you until you reach a certain point over the speeding limit. Me personally, I don't stop people unless they're doing 15 or over. That's just me though. And even if you're doing like 20 to 24 or over, as long as you're honest with me and you're like, yeah, dude, you got me, I'm sorry. Most of the time I'll reduce it so you don't get any points in your license, your insurance rates don't go up, all that. Secret number six. In most states, ticket quotas are considered illegal. That's right, folks. Most of the time, quotas are actually illegal. Now, with that being said, if your sole job is to write tickets and work accidents, and you work an eight-hour day and you only wrote one ticket, that will probably reflect on your productivity evaluation. That would be like working at a sandwich shop and only making one sandwich the entire day, you worthless dick. Secret number seven, and this is the last one, we do not make commission off of tickets. If I got commission off of my citations, I would be writing 300 a day. I'm just kidding, I'm not that big of a dick. We don't get commission on anything. Whether I write no tickets or I write a thousand tickets, I get paid the same either way. Bottom line guys, there's a lot of loopholes that we can use to stop you for speeding. My personal recommendation, of course, is gonna sound like such a cop thing to say. Like the best thing for you to do, just don't, just don't speed. Got me charged. Oh.